Padmak Mar of 47 Infantry Road. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how I met Guru Nadraja the first time in my life. Must have been in the late 30s. Um, my brother was in Uti then and my mother and I also went there to live with him. I had lost my father. Mm. So some of my relatives from Kalino had come and my brother took all of us to Fern Hill. Oh. To Fern Hill was uh, not what it is now. There was no tar road or mud road only. Slippery. Most of the time it rains in Uti. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, it was very slippery and we reached the Gurukula. Guru Madraja, he was good Madrajan master then. He was not called Guru. Madrajan master. Master is teacher. It amounts to the same. So you were about 15 years old or so? I'm going to be, in four months' time, I'll be 85. Yes, but when you first went there, then you were. Uh, 25 plus 38, you count how much it will be? 14, 15. Yeah, the age 13, I was 14. in my teens. Yes, I see. Uh -huh. Then my brother took us all there, and Guru was there. We still we had that uh, hall, big hall. I don't remember having seen the kitchen. Mm. Guru was there. He came, mm. welcomed us all. Then it so happened he was. Uh, expecting some foreign friends and it so happened they were not coming they cancelled the trip and there were some good things guru had prepared for them oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, tomato bread butter and tomato jam which guru himself made yeah. that was the tastiest jam i ever tasted in my life oh. 84 years. No, I can imagine. I hear he was yeah. a very good cook. So he said we could all have that. Mm. And we, we were all such voracious eaters. All youngsters walking all the way up the hill. It was very tiring. Oh, yes. and we did good justice to it. Yeah. So you had and, to walk all the yeah, way there. Yeah. Right. We, we, we were not in a vehicle, we had to walk all the distance. Oh, we no. were tired. Like he gave us lots of bread, butter and jam and tea. Mm. <laughs> and then we came back and there was a big gap when I did not see Guru. Mm. Then I again met him in the 50s when we came to this house, Bangalore. Yes. There was a chair here. He would always sit on this. And you saw my niece present up. The Guru. Nadarajan master was. Oh, what shall I say? In a nutshell, he was perfection personified. That's all I can say. Really? Even as a teenager you thought yeah, so? Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah. Everything in him was perfect. Whatever he did was perfect. Yeah. Then in the 50s when he came, he never used to talk about philosophy or anything. He will talk to us about the ordinary things, about our life, what curry I made. I was not a good cook. He would teach me yeah. how to cook. And he would say those vegetables which needed more cooking, he was put first. Then so on and so forth. Yes. It would be a lesson like that. And uh, mm. when whenever he came, I told you he would sit always there. And my niece Prasanna, who was in her teens then, she would call her, her his uh, girlfriend. Yeah. I was introduce her to you. And then he would be blushing. Yes. <laughs> you won't be able to look at that. <laughs> we'll have to have our cameraman back or we won't see her. So. Anyway. like that. So, yes, I guess he was, he liked to tease, didn't he? Yeah. Tease people. 
And then whenever he came to Bangalore, that was when he bought that land in Kaklipura and so narrowly he would come at least twice a year. Then he would spend one night with us. And then once he said he was not going to stay here, I was very, very unhappy. Mm. Was very unhappy that Guru wouldn't be coming. Yeah. And was, I, I was praying and praying and praying that she should be able to come. And he did come. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he said, Padma's Tabashapri was so much I had to come here. <laughs> so that's what he said. Oh, <laughs> Then you know when he fell in, in 72, 71, 72, mm. he was first admitted to, to St. Martha's, St. Martha's Hospital. There's a hospital here yes. when, by that name. When he will tell you the location. Yeah. Um, and then when we visited him with uh, Swami Nitya, Guru Nitya mm. took a snap of ours. You can see that picture. Oh, yes. Um, Guru is seated in the middle, and then my husband, Kumar, oh. is seated on the okay. right, and I am on the left. Guru in 1972 after his stroke? Yeah. yeah. Saint Saint Martha's. Kumar Saint on the left. St. Martha's Hospital. Padma on the right? Yeah. He was always cheerful even when he was in the hospital. Yes, yes, yes. Nitya had some great stories about him teasing the nurses and. You know, teaching even while he was lying down. He has the one disciple, Dr. Janath. He was a naturopathy uh, mm -hmm. doctor. He said uh, nature cure would be ideal for him. And then they arranged to shift him to nature cure hospital in Baswangudi here. Mm -hmm. Then he agreed. Mm -hmm. And then he was admitted there and he was not showing any improvement. Mm. And then Guru Nitya's um, sister's husband was Dr. Gopi working in Trivandrum. Uh -huh. He's an allopathic doctor. He said he should be given allopathic treatment and mm. not uh, nature cure mm. treatment. But Guru said he had agreed to undergo this treatment, which was for 40 days. And no matter how much the others pleaded with him, he said, no, I have agreed to undergo the full course. Doesn't matter what happens to me, I'll undergo the treatment. And after the 40 days, he was taken to Trivandrum, Barkala, Trivandrum for treatment. That was that was in '72 that I saw Guru last. Mm. He was he was in a very bad condition. He was she, they had taken first class compartment. Guru was lying down there. That was the last time stopping. I, his condition, even though they gave him a allopathic treatment, I don't think he improved. His condition used to worsen and it was my, my bad luck. I couldn't see him after. 1972. But you did see him that time. You went yeah, down. Yeah, I saw him quite a while. And, and when, whenever there was Guru Puja, we, we used to go to Uti and stay there for two, three days. And it was so difficult to leave Guru there and come away. It would break my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once I, I told him, 
I wanted to stay there in the Gurukula permanently. Mm -hmm. He said, I was working in the telegraphs. Yeah. He said, God has given me a good job. Mm -hmm. You mustn't give up that. Mm -hmm. What God has given you, you must always respect and keep it. So, uh, I was not happy about what Guru said then. Because no. I couldn't leave Guru and come away. No. I would cry and cry and cry. <laughs> no, yes, it was easy to love, wasn't it? Yeah. It's surprising that you would want to give it all up and go yeah. to a Gurukula though. That wasn't typical for women and especially. used to say Gurukula life is not what you see during the Guru Puja time. Life in the Gurukula is very, very difficult, you would know, mm. you, until you yeah. undergo that type of days. Yes. So you are happier, your husband is there to help you, your people are there, mm. you better go back and come only when there is uh, uh, Guru Puja or even other, at other times, you can always let us know when you are coming and you can spend a few days here and go. Then um, whenever there is uh, Guru Puja in Somanhalli, where you came from, yes. There was a, in Soman Hali near the, near the road, there was a small hut that Guru built, beautiful hut. He himself with the help of Guru Nitya and some others, he built a circular one. Very beautiful and there was a fence all around with Bogen Villa, all flowering and once a year Guru Buddha used to be celebrated there, we would all go there and spend the day with Guru, have lunch and then he would be talking to the villagers. Villagers just worshipped him. Mm. So wonderful. Mm. He could uh, speak the language they spoke, Kannada. Very yes. well he could speak to them. So they were very fond of him. They would ask all sorts of questions and he would answer them in their own language, Simple terms. Uh, the way they would understand. Yeah. Uh, um, He's very clever that way. Yeah. Did you yourself ask him questions also? or yeah. Did you ask him questions about your okay. life or your husband? Did he ask? I never used to ask him anything. Whatever he said, he would be all the time talking, yeah. joking, not talking seriously at all. All the time he'll be joking and he'll, we'll be laughing at all that he said. He never talked about philosophy when he was here. <laughs> all about uh, household work and how we were getting on. That's all he used to say. <laughs> what do you say there? That's all he ever talked. He never talked philosophy. He wrote philosophy. Talking, he talked about making samba, helping cow, gardening. He talked about relationship issues between people. Hmm. In the class, he would talk about some pure abstract. Because philosophy for him was generalized and abstract. And daily life was very concrete. But you see this concrete thing, for example, why is there mustard in the soup? <laughs> if there is mustard, why did you call it a soup? But if you call it a soup, how come there's mustard? Till he found this out, he would not have that soup. And then it turns out that it was that there was one bowl of afternoon's vegetable curry left and some kind girl who was going to wash the bowl thought instead of throwing it away, anyway it's a soup. So you put it in the soup. But Guru says, no, soup does not have mustard seeds. That's Indian cooking, mustard fried. Why did you tell me it's soup for me? So, God, initially you think, why is he being so fussy and finicky about something? No, I know. I'm back. 
And you come back and you go to the Jewish suit with the new Dalim. This was Joya Guru and she threw the burial in the suit. Okay. Now that we understand how it happened, then and then he tasted it and he says, it tastes very good. So she was given all the talking about please. So but we always think of him as such a big philosopher, but he with you he would always just talk about it was like a, a friend from yeah. next door yeah. Yeah. would come yes, to visit. Yeah. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And when once we had the Guru Puja in Urti, all were going away, even Guru Mitya had to leave and Guru was all alone. Mm. There was one cook there and then he, you know, Guru Mitya told us, stay for two or three days with Guru. Mm. I had to extend my leave and we stayed there. Then in the morning I would try and go and make coffee. But I couldn't uh, light, the the light, light the fire with the firewood. I was oh, no right good at it. <laughs> and he would uh, be watching me. He knew I couldn't do it and he would himself come and light the fire. In no time he would do it. <laughs> he was so good at everything. <laughs> and there was a cow then and when it is raining, he himself would go up and bring the cow down. Oh, he was so marvelous. Oh. <laughs> so marvelous he was. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, after he died, then did you have a different, a new relationship with Guru Nitya, or had you always been friendly with the Guru? And and I continue to oh, look, John uh, look at the Guru Nitya as both Nataraja Guru and Nitya. I saw in him <laughs> Nataraja Guru also. I can't differentiate <laughs> both of them. I saw both of yeah, both in one. <laughs> and did you uh, know John Spears very well? Oh, very much, very much. Long before Guru Nataraja used to come and stay here. John used to come here. He Good. knew my husband very well. He was staying in Kadlipura. Mm -hmm. That is five miles before Somanhali, from where you came. Good. So, John would come and uh, John would... Uh, put, uh, they were uh, bringing out uh, a magazine called Values. In connection with that, he would come here. She would come here and go and do the book reading. It's very close. He would come and do the finish the proof reading and come here. And he would wait for me for a cup of tea. Of course. <laughs> and then when I come back from work, I would make a cup of tea for him. And if there are biscuits at home, he would have that also. Sometimes he will himself bring biscuits <laughs> and he'll have that and he will dress for a little while and go away. Here, when uh, the proofreading had to be done, he would come sometimes every day or every other day till the proofreading is finished. Hmm. Did he come by bus or he didn't have a scooter? By really? bus, very much by bus. That's a long trip. He <laughs> couldn't really? afford any, any, yeah, no. any expensive vehicle then. Yeah. He would come by bus and he would go back by bus. So he and, and your then, husbands uh, were, were very good friends. Uh, he yeah, he was husband. also a very good friend of ours. Yeah. Then uh, that there was a uh, friend house who was staying with uh, John, I mean, ah, John, John at Kadli. Mm -hmm. he, would, he, he would all go to Uti for Guru Puja. And the night of uh, Guru Puja, we, we would be served uh, soup, soup and bread. Mm -hmm. That used to be a delicacy. Standard. Very, very tasty soup. Yeah. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and John and Fred and Guru Nataraja, they would all hold hands and dance, <laughs> go round and round and round. 
<laughs> it was so marvelous then. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, once what happened, Guru was talking something about death. And then when he mentioned that, I was feeling more happy. I was wondering why you were saying about this. And I was I was very unhappy. And then he said, you know, when I die, Padma will be seated in a corner and she'll be crying. Oh. <laughs> he imitated me crying. Oh. And then I'll go there, pull her by her. Hair and bring her. It made me cry all the more. <laughs> uh, like that, Guru, so many jokes he used to <laughs> say. And, <laughs> Did he ever give classes at your house also? Philosophy classes or any visits? No, people would be, when they know Guru is coming, friends will be coming. And they'll be telling him about their problems. And then he would tell them how to solve. Or he would give suggestions. Mm. And he, he could give good suggestions. Yeah. To people. yeah, and they'll feel relieved that Guru has said so and so. And mm. they will act upon those. And I suppose they, their problems were so like that. Mm. Also been very wonderful to host <laughs> groups like that. So. I must uh, tell you about your, uh, this girlfriend. Doesn't <laughs> I not come here? <laughs> 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 She's still hiding back there. Yeah, you can find her. Uh, <laughs> Well, so are there other stories you can recall of times that you spoke with Nanaraj Guru or Nitya or someone? Something they did that you remember in particular? Or not so many specifics. Guru Nitya used to come more often than Guru Nagraja in his younger days. For some time, uh, John had gone abroad, leaving this. Uh, uh, values work to um, uh, Guru Nitya. So he was staying at Kagli and he would come very often during those days. And uh, he taught me how to do the proofreading. Oh, really? Uh, and uh, I would do that and then he would go back in the, in the evening. And then he became very, very close. Mm. <laughs> The proofreading in the Values magazines is very good, I can testify. I've, I've read many of them. He would, uh, Guru Nadrajan used to call her uh, his girlfriend. Small girl. She was oh, no, she was in her teens then. Teens. When, he, when, she, he, when he used to call her, call her uh, his girlfriend, he, she would be standing there, where, uh, there, here, and then he would be blushing all over. <laughs> he wouldn't oh. be able to look at Guru at all. That's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? So always he would refer to her as his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so you were glad when he went away? You were happy when the guru oh, went away? I used to cry and then when they left. That was natural for us to cry <laughs> when guru came here yes, and left. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to control our tears. <laughs> we'll touch his feet and start. Mm. We won't be able to say anything either. <laughs> mm. Okay, thank you. Married life in the Gurukula or any, anything along those lines about, about whether... 
Narayana Nara Guru had said, Vivahan Tadeyadu. That is, we should not uh, prevent marriage. Hmm. And uh, he himself married Ma uh, Margaret. Veni and Margaret hmm. at the Guru Kuda. And they were staying there also as hmm. husband and wife. Hmm. So you never felt that you were unimportant because you were married with Kumar? Yeah, yeah. He married us also, oh, he did. Nagaja Guru, at oh, yeah. Kagli. Oh. In 1954, he married us. Really? Uh, my, my husband is there. And he'll get them. Yes, we'll, we'll get some shots at the end of the, the photographs here. That would be wonderful. Yes. So. There is uh, mm. also one foreigner you see there. You remember Benny Otto? No, Otto was Otto was not. I've heard of him. Uh, yeah, he, he was staying in the Gurukula for a long time, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Uti. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, really? And when, uh, after uh, lunch, uh, lunch, you know, we would, be all, we would be eating all together with Guru. And then uh, when there is anything, when we said it's enough, there would be something in the bowls left, no? Then he'll ask us, finished? <laughs> that is the style of his talking. He was a German, I think. Uh -huh. And then whatever is left in the bowls, he would finish out and then clean out the vessels himself. <laughs> he was a very, very nice person. Get these at the end. Very, very really? beautiful person. Yeah. Also. Then he left Gurukula. Yeah, we, we thought he would be staying permanently in the Gurukula. He left the Gurukula and I think he became a Buddhist. Buddhist. Oh. After becoming a Buddhist, he had visited us oh. once. I see. My name is Sariputra. No, I don't remember anything. Sariputra. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yes. So I knew Sariputra. Mm. Mm -hmm. He was very, mm. very nice person. Yes. Did you ever go to the convention or any of the world parliaments of religion? Convention, I went only once. Yeah. For, at the convention time, yeah, just once I went to be very, very crowded. Yes, it's crowded. Mm. <laughs> I've only been once myself, so I am with you. Uh, hmm. There'll be classes every. Every little while, and then discussion on the on the topics, and in the evening there will be um, some sort of dance and variety entertainment, and dances and music, and that will be for seven days, many. Yeah. yeah. Wow. From the twenty. Now it is from the twenty third to the twenty ninth. Yes. Earlier it would, it would cover, it would uh, be on the second, year. no? Yeah, Afterwards. start on New yeah. Year and uh, I mean yeah. Christmas Eve and go yeah. on to New Year. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Guru used to stay, you have been to Uti, you know? Oh, yes. That hill, hill top, there was okay. a small hut, that's mm. where Guru used to stay. I stayed in that uh, hut. The ice box. The oh hut. yes, they, they would put me there. Yeah. And he would be staying there. Mm -hmm. And then he would get up at 5.30, 5.30, that is his normal time. Yeah. And then over a cup of coffee yeah. and biscuits, he would be explaining things. Mm -hmm. and so at that time, was there any tea around or was it all forests up, up at the Udi Garukala? What, what was what was the area like in those days? Because now it's a, a town. Uh, it's mud road again. Yes. Incline. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful, otherwise you will skip us. Uh, what do you say? Skip. Ah. Slip. S slip. 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 And it was difficult to walk down. Oh, uh, yes. Of course, you could be careful. Yeah. But uh, walking down, you had to be careful. Mm -hmm. Then we come and then join uh, in the, uh, the other part of the Gurukula. By the side of the road, mm. we used to come there 
And then when whenever Guru comes here to the Gurugula, all the inmates will say, Oh, Guru is coming, Guru is coming. Mm. And then they will be keeping everything in order. But uh, then uh, I found it very strange that uh, they were scared to see Guru. <laughs> and then um, I used to ask, why why are you getting scared that Guru is coming here? You should be happy Guru is coming here and you should go and meet him <laughs> and not <laughs> go and hide. <laughs> mm. well, what did they say? Did they have no, an they answer? just uh, smile and they won't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> it was said jokingly and it yeah. was taken <laughs> in the same light. Oh, good. We will put up some of these photos. Oh, Wedding, 50. eh? 54. 1954. 54. August 11. August 11. Have you put up? Have you put up? Yeah. So you were 29 when you got married. That's pretty uh, old. About 30, yeah. Yeah, 30, yeah. 24. Yeah. Wow. 30 years. 30? 30. So you were born the same year as Nietzsche? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Actually, and I was older. He was born on the 2nd of November. And I was in born June. in uh, June, the same year. Yeah. So I would so always good. insist upon him calling me Chechi, his <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This was in uh, uh, Sonamhalli, that small hut. It is no longer no there. More. And uh, he was standing by the side of the window and my husband clicked that photograph. It became a very um, uh, famous photograph. Yes. That's beautiful. It came on the cover of uh, this values. Ah, and my Malayalam autobiography. This was taken on the birthday of that uh, boy with the suit on. Uh -huh. He was half Chinese, half uh, Indian. Yeah. He came to the Gurukula to celebrate his birthday. And this photograph was taken by that uh, the man who is standing next to me on the right. He was the he had a studio. No, the the man on the and left you're, you're in right. Lungi. Yeah. Ah, that ah. in Lungi is my husband. Next yeah. to him oh. I am standing. And the third one from the right is that uh, Shankaran, Shankaran I think, eh? oh, Shankaran sorry. photographer. He had a studio on uh, yeah. on the on Garden Road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this oh, is yeah. uh, Otto here. Uh, that, that was, yeah. and this fellow. Well, yeah, he was we know standing, uh, sitting, uh, standing under the tree uh, uh, near the uh, near the kitchen. The way leading to the kitchen, there's a big tree. So if you were to tell the world one or two things about Madaraja Guru and what he meant to, to the world, what would they be? What, what, did, what, what did he what mean? What shall I say? I do not know how to explain to you what I mean. All that is nice and perfect in the world is Madaraja Guru to me. I saw perfection in him and whenever I am in a, in a fix and not, not, not knowing what I should do, I would always ask myself, if Nadraj Guru were in my position, how would we react? What, what would be his reaction? I thought uh, this will be what Guru, the way Guru would do, and I'll do that. And it, uh, most of the time, it thought that turned out to be the correct way. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And...